I wish you all a very blessed, filled with many graces, New Year 2015. May Almighty God, in His mercy, in His bounties, grant you and your families many, many graces and blessings uh, during this new year. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Today the people, whether Christian, Catholic or not, whether believe in God or they do, do not, they wish each other a happy new year. In these words, I wish you a happy or a blessed, even better, new year 2015, are upon our lips all today. Children extend this greeting to their parents, parents to their children, friends to their friends. Every heart, so to speak, has but one wish, a happy new year. A happy new year. This is a wish so general, so common, and so universal, yet at the same time it is peculiar and most significant, and we not even talk much about it. Since it expresses the innermost craving of the human heart. Our heart and the heart of every man must needs crave for happiness. Since it was created by Almighty God, by its Creator, to be happy. It was made to be happy. And hence, we and every man on this earth, we crave for it with every fever of our being. If people at times had been disappointed, it was because they mistook the shadow for the reality, an illusion, as so many people do today, particularly younger people. Like children, they were crushing so bubbles, running after beautiful butterflies. How many times we feel like that? And no sooner did they catch them than the bubble vanished away and the butterfly crushed by the ungentle hands was just a little dust. That's life. We should not be deceived. Today, in this, let's call it anti-Christian society, by which we mean the entire world, more or less, the, the people, they run after this happiness and they think, that is to say, they deceive themselves, they can find it in material things in money, in pleasure, in power. And perhaps, some people think, the human heart can be even be filled by another person, by a loving spouse. But that to think is another delusion, is another deception. Because with all the love a spouse could have for the other, the human heart can lastly not be satisfied 
by a human being. Since this heart, the human heart, God created, so to speak, only for himself, and therefore only God, only his presence by his grace can make this heart really happy. Only God can satisfy the human heart in its search for happiness. And that is why you don't see these days so often really happy people. You say people who are content perhaps with material things but they are not really happy and you can see that in their faces. Only God and if only man could understand this message this would be truly progress. Only God who created man can satisfy the human heart in its search in its craving for even a temple happiness. The heart is so small, you can cover it up with your palm of your hand. And yes, indeed, the heart is so great, so big, that the whole world and all the dollars and all the money, and all the pleasures, all the power, cannot satisfy this human heart. Solomon in the Old Testament, the wisest man that ever lived perhaps, wrote his warning in the book of wisdom for all generations to come. Vanity of vanities, and all is vanity in this world, except to love God and keep his commandments. And St. Augustine, the great, great doctor of grace, the great doctor of the church, the great theologians, enjoyed the world so much and his pleasures for 18 long years. which caused his mother so much sadness, so much grief, and so much tears. Eighteen long years. And he has written down his experience for you and for me, saying, My heart was restless, he says, until it found rest, O God, in thee. God alone can satisfy the human heart. And this forgetfulness that only God can satisfy the human heart and make it truly happy, the fact that so many people run after earthly happiness, that's the explanation why even the Nomos Auto Church wants to compromise the very sacrament of matrimony. It's the craving of man to find a happiness which perhaps the current partners they say today cannot give. So someone looks for another human being in that craving for happiness, but that happiness perhaps will not come. God alone can make you happy. And God will do so. That is his craving, if, if you want to say it so. He wants to make us happy for all eternity, to its full extent. He wants it in this world and in the world to come. But this side of eternity, he does so in the measure of you pursuing God, in seeking the things of God, 
in the truth of God. And therefore, we should not expect perfect happiness in this world. Our Blessed Lady made it very clear to St. Bernadette Subiro when she said, I will, will you make you very happy, but not in this life, just in the next. Perfect happiness, and I wish the world would understand this truth, perfect happiness cannot be found on this earth. Our heart and the heart of man will remain restless. That's why in the restlessness they need to go from one pleasure to the other, from one activity to the other in the pursuit of happiness, because they are restless. Men of our times are restless, and they seek happiness, but they don't seek that happiness in Almighty God. But there is another reason for our best wishes today on New Year's Day. In spite of so many disappointments you might also have experienced in your life or in the past year 2014, in spite of so many scattered hopes of the past, today we at least try to hope again anew. We believe and hope and pray that things, even in our personal life, or in the life of society, will give God change for the better. We believe and hope and pray that things will change. In this world of ours, things have been never been perfect. On the contrary, it seems Humanity goes away, which will just end in total chaos. Because they took out Christ from their lives. We ourselves in our short span of life, and once we enter the eternity, we will see how short our own life was. Have perhaps witnessed days and years in which we saw misery, crosses, difficulties. But today we look up to our Lord Jesus Christ and to our Blessed Lady. Since the Church overall celebrates today the Feast of the Circumcision. And at that incident, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ was given to him. And with this name, this very holy and salutary and blessed name, we should begin our new year 2015. And if we do so, our year will be a very blessed one, regardless what trials or difficulties or crosses we have to experience. We should walk and cooperate with the gifts God offers to us. A happy new year, such is the wish of today. And if you want to be really happy, entirely happy, in your heart, during this year and every day of the year, we should trust, we should put our trust in Almighty God. It is true. The future is hidden from our eyes. 
and it is good for all us that it is that way. It is good for us that a certain a curtain hangs before the future today. Some of you, perhaps, would like to raise it a little bit to see what's coming in the year 2015. But how unhappy would we be today if we were to, were to know the future most unhappy? Christ himself said one day, I have still many things to tell you, but you cannot bear them. But belief in the future is trusting in God. Belief in divine providence. Confide in, in him of whom St. Paul said to us on Christmas Day, Brethren, the grace of God our Savior has appeared amongst us. And today, as I said, we see the name of our Savior written above our door, so to speak, above the door of the new year. Jesus Christ confide in him. And Jesus means Savior. And he wants to save even this crooked world of today. We should look forward and confide in God. Look upward to heaven and pray. The old church reads in the Acts of the Apostle, the old church did not weep. She prayed and she hoped. Christians of the 21st century, we should look up a little more heavenward and pray a little more hopefully. Look beyond the everlasting hills, and only the hope of immortality transfigures our life here below. And the reason why so many people today emerge in materialism is since they lost all faith, of eternity. Today we entered upon a new year, we entered through the door which bears the inscription Jesus. We should recall every year and every day in the future the words of Saint Augustine which were our guiding thoughts this morning, my heart is restless until it rests, O oh God, in thee. Let us live and act accordingly, that we put our rest, so to speak, in God, that we find our rest in God, and we will have a truly happy new year, 2015. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Mater Dei